about the one argument you absolutely should never use with your woman. Now, you shouldn't be arguing with women in the first place, but I'm going to tell you the one argument you should never use with your woman and why you should never use it. Every man has done every man has done this in his life. Every man has said this to his wife, girlfriend at some point with his woman. And that argument is, well, if you were in my shoes, how would you feel? Or put yourself in my shoes or some sort of variation to that. Now, in these situations, guys, we are thinking logically. We think that if we can make her see the situation from our point of view, that she will in turn see things logically and understand where we're coming from. And if that happens, we think, she's going to come around and totally agree with us. But there are two humongous flaws in this logic. The first flaw is that women are not logical creatures at all, at least not when you're in an argument with them. Women are only logical after they've hit the wall because, again, they have to be. You guys saw in the last clip, women are useless. Hot girls are useless because they've never had to be useful. Well, when they turn 30 and they hit the wall, all of a sudden, now they got to learn how to cook. Now they got to learn how to suck and fuck just like the sixes and sevens of the world, right? Then all of a sudden, they become pragmatic and logical. That's the only time they are logical. Irregardless of a female's age, when you are in an argument or a disagreement with a woman, she's not going to be logical. Trying to appeal to a female's logic is useless. I had a consultation client ask me, he literally asked me, this is a Donovan, should I try to be logical when trying to pick up women? I told him, of course not. Women are not logical or rational, gentlemen. You don't walk up on a woman and say shit like, hey, you should give me your number because I make 40000 a year. I drive a reliable Honda Accord and I have perfect credit, which means I can take good care of you for the rest of your life. Shit like that's not going to make her pussy what because women base their romantic decisions on emotion and emotion alone. Biology demands it. Any man with red pill awareness knows this. Shit, you don't even have to know the true nature of women to understand why they don't make decisions on anything based on rational thought. At least romantically. That said, if you expect your woman to see things your way, in a disagreement because you did the rational thing and asked how she would feel if the situation were were reversed, gentlemen, you're going to be disappointed every single time. Again, you're trying to appeal to her logic, which backfires every single time, right? She'll say, well, I feel different. You think that she'll say, well, I feel differently because of blah, 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 or whatever her answer is. It never makes sense because it's not based on logic. Her, Her response leads me to the second major flaw in this logic, and that is that women will lie every single time. I'll give it, I'm going to give you the perfect example of this. Let's say that you and your girl are arguing about her texting back and forth with, with, with her ex, which, by the way, would not happen if you have groomed her properly and if you are a true 5%er type red pillow wear alpha male. But for the sake of argument... Let's say, let's just take the typical, let's just say that you're the typical clueless male in 2019 and you're in an argument with your woman about texting her ex. You two go back and forth for a little while. You yell, you get loud and so forth. You make your arguments and then you ask her what you believe. The silver bullet to win the argument by appealing to her logic. Well, what if I was texting back and forth with my ex? You wouldn't like that, would you? Gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, 11 times out of 10, 15 times out of 10, that bitch is going to say, no, it wouldn't bother me at all. Because if you told me you two were just friends, I would trust you and not suspect anything. Now we all know that's a hundred percent bullshit because she would absolutely have a problem with it. And you both know it, but for the sake of winning the argument and giving herself permission to engage in the behavior you're calling her out on, She lies, just like every single female would do in this situation. Her lie, as it happens, is also a double-edged sword because not only does she tell you she'd be okay with it, the reason she gave you indirectly accuses you of being jealous and insecure. So when girls say, well, of course I wouldn't have a problem with it because I would trust you, what they're also doing you, doing is shaming you into ignoring your instincts by telling you, that they would trust you in the same situation 
for no other reason but to create the margin they need to engage in behaviors that lead to cheating, like, oh, say, texting her ex. But then later on down the road, when you're texting and she asks you who you're texting and you tell her it's your ex, she loses her shit. And when you remind her of what she told you before, when you remind her that she too said that she would be okay with you texting her ex, she will always respond with this. But that was different. Then she'll come up with a bunch of bullshit reasons as to why your situation was different from hers and why she has the right to be pissed off and why you didn't. Again, guys, again, guys, this is how today's women work. And they do it every single time without fail. Guys, listen to me when I tell you this. Never, ever, ever attempt to put your girlfriend in your shoes. Or ask her how she would feel if she were in your position. Or if she'd be all right with you doing whatever it is that she's doing. Because she's never going to answer rationally. And she's never going to ask honestly. This is a lose-lose situation no matter what. Guys, I'm here to tell you the put yourself in my shoes technique never ever goes well. And it never ends well. Every single one of you guys has said put yourself in my shoes. Put the shoe on the other foot. I can promise you that less than 0% of you guys had women say, you know what? Now that, I, now that you put it that way, I agree with you. You're right. I shouldn't go to girls' night out. I shouldn't be texting my ex. I shouldn't be going to lunch every day with Kevin and Sales. My bad. You're right. I'm wrong. Never happened. If your girl is texting her ex or doing something that you both know is conducive to infidelity, tell her to stop it or you're fucking gone. Period. And gentlemen... You better be ready to follow through because if you're not, she will not stop the behavior. And at that point, it is a mathematical inevitability that she will start fucking him behind your back. I guarantee fucking see it. If you want your woman to stop the behavior, tell her to stop and leave it at that. No explanations, no rational questions, none of this. Well, would you feel, how would you feel if I did none of that shit? And if your woman asks you to think about it from her perspective, well, how would you feel if I did the same? Here's what you tell her. Stupid question. I'm not a woman. And leave it at that. Let her throw a fit. Let her talk. Let her bitch. Let her cry. Stand your ground and do not feed into her emotional shenanigans. Eventually, she will calm down. And she will have more respect for you because you've shown her that you are not the kind of man who's going to be manipulated by a simple role reversal technique that bitches have been using for decades. 